As you talk about flow and get into what that experience is like, the mystical experience, loss of sense of self, what pops into my head is psychedelics and the impact those have on a person. So I'm just curious, is there a lot of research showing overlap between a psychedelic experience and what it's like being in a flow state? The only research that's been done is the study. We teamed up with uh, Robin Card Harris's lab at Imperial College in London. We worked with specifically a guy named Mendel Kaleem. They've done, Robin's lab has uh, done all the brain imaging work on psychedelics, uh, DMT, MDMA, LSD, and psilocybin. Um, they've done brain imaging work on it. And then we uh, did comparison contrast studies. And um, we, uh, so we have really interesting data and we know what psychedelics are useful for that uh, flow states are not and what flow states are useful for where psychedelics fail and all kinds. So we do have a bunch of stuff there. Um, and it's, so I think what we can tell you about psychedelics is that there is, uh, there's some interesting research on psychedelics and, and, and creativity as enhancers for creativity. It appears that flow is better um, than psychedelics, uh, especially for a kind of practical creativity. Like if you're, where psychedelics have a true advantage is if you're interested in having synesthesia. So if you want to taste colors, for example, psychedelics win. If you want to have a spiritual experience, psychedelics outperform flow and propensity to have a terrible experience psychedelics outperform flow you don't have a bad time in a flow state you can have a bad trip um other than that flow seems from a practical perspective flow is the better tool to reach for but for trauma i mean flow is useful for trauma but i mean the this is where right like i don't work in trauma that's not my work but like the trauma work with psychedelics is amazing right the stuff we're seeing with with ptsd um is is brilliant um, and I'm not saying that there isn't going to be a use for psychedelics and creativity down the line, but as of right now, it appears that flow is, is, is more effective. And it's not the work. My old company did some of that work with psychedelics and I actually left because um, I just wanted to stay focused on flow, mostly because I think there's a lot of people in psychedelics right now who are doing really sort of good work. You know what I mean? What Tim Ferriss is doing with Roland Griffith at Hopkins is amazing. What Robin's like... It like there's that work is being done. My work has always been flow. So I don't, I'm not paying, I don't pay as much attention to it. But what I, what I've seen is the therapeutic stuff is amazing. If you're interested in performance or creativity, flow, flow appears to be better. But again, may not be true for you, right? This may be, you know, true for everybody else. You could be an exception um, on this, on this one. I don't know. Some people really love their psychedelics and I want to stand between them and their psychedelics. <laughs> 